Well, hello again, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can work with checkboxes in PHP. We need a form element. I have the action attribute set to my PHP file, index.php. For the method, I'm using post. To create a checkbox, we can use a self closing input tag. The type will be checkbox. And here it is. If we were to use post, we will get a key value pair from this checkbox element. The key will be equal to our name attribute. Let's say that the name is pizza. And for the value, let's say pizza. I'm going to capitalize the value just so that it's easier to differentiate between the key and the value. The name is the key, the value as well, the value. Then let's add some text. Pizza break element. Not sure why Google wants to translate this, but okay. Let's copy these two lines of markup, then paste them three additional times. The second button will be hamburger, the third will be hot dog, the fourth will be taco. Let's change the names, the values, and the text. The second checkbox is hamburger. Then hot dog. Then taco. Here are the four checkboxes. Then we'll need a submit button. Input type equals submit. For the name, that will be submit as well. Now within our PHP script, when I press this button, I would like to execute some code after we press the submit button. I will enclose all of my code with an if statement. We will check to see if our submit button is set. We'll use the isSet function. We'll use the post variable. We are accessing submit. If we click the submit button, then do stuff. To check to see if a checkbox is set, we can use the isSet function again. We'll use an if statement. If is set. Now we are examining the key of pizza, whatever the name attribute is set to. If pizza is set, if it's checked, what do we want to do? Let's simply echo you like pizza. When I press pizza, click submit, we will display you like pizza. Let's do this with the other checkboxes. Let's copy this if statement, paste it three times. Then we'll check the other keys. We have hamburger. You like hamburgers. Hot dog. You like hot dogs. Taco. You like tacos. Oh, then let me add a break after each of these sentences. Because I forgot to do that. Now I can press any combination of these checkboxes. If one of these checkboxes is checked, we'll execute one of these if statements. You like pizza, you like hot dogs, you like tacos. Alternatively, we can determine to see if a checkbox is empty using the empty function. Let's copy our if statements. Change is set to empty. Empty, empty, empty. If pizza is unchecked, if it's empty, we'll echo you don't like pizza. Do this for hamburgers, you don't like hamburgers. Hot dogs, you don't like hot dogs. And tacos, you don't like tacos. If I were to click pizza and tacos again, then submit. You like pizza, you like tacos, you don't like hamburgers, you don't like hot dogs. That's one way in which you can check to see if a checkbox is set. You can use the isSet function to determine if it's set, or empty to determine if it's empty. You can place all of these checkboxes in an array, but they would all need the same name attribute. Let's rename the name attribute to foods for all of these checkboxes. Then add a set of straight brackets after each. These will all be placed within an array. Let's get rid of our if statements. 
After pressing the submit button, let's create a foods array. Then we will get via post the key name, which is foods. Foods is technically going to be an array. To prove it, let's echo foods, then see what happens. Pizza, hamburger, hot dog, taco. Warning, array to string conversion. So foods is an array. We can access elements of an array with an index number. Foods at index zero, that would be pizza. One is hamburger, two is hot dog, three is taco, four should be out of bounds. Undefined array key four. You can loop through all of the elements of an array using a for each loop. For each, list your array, foods, as food. Then let's echo each food. Then I will add a break. Pizza, hamburger, hot dog, taco. All right, everybody, so that's how to work with checkboxes in PHP. The type set to checkbox. The name attribute will be the key, and the value is, well, the value. You do have the option of placing all of these checkboxes in the same group. They would need the same name, then add a set of square brackets after. And well, everybody, that's how to work with checkboxes in PHP.